Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. God. The motive, the opportunity, and the supporting evidence, they have all been clearly established. No, they haven't. You've just shown these things as possibilities. The fact that she had poison on her with her fingerprints okay, on but it. but again, she And faint, that that poison was in she there. She fainted. Therefore, people could have easily taken advantage of her. But we can't prove that. But we can prove she fainted. Yeah, but we can't explain why. We can't prove that somebody did plant that stone on her. So the evidence eh. is very strongly against her. Fine. Well, Trite, it seems you really are a phony after all. Plot twist, we just die. And ah! that's the ending. You really know how to drive a man nuts. Plot twist, Gado is the fake face. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Witness, please continue with your testimony. Describe for the court the crime scene and the findings oh. of your investigation there. Well, I guess they didn't completely rule. They're like, we could just add this. But no, nah, testimony part two, electric boogaloo. I could give you an F. But I won't. <laughs> the crime was reported at 2.20 p.m. 2.25 p.m. by a kind of a scary old man, sir. Um. Poor Maggie had passed out from the shock. It must have been real tough for her. Yeah, poor girl. Then there's a scary old man. Was it the guy with the bike or was it the guy with the The guy with the seat? bike wasn't an old man. He was just a guy with, like, well, a tiger tan. <laughs> and a tiger uh... shirt. And tiger teeth. <laughs> Tiger teeth? I didn't yeah, they fiends! I didn't look at his teeth. <laughs> oh, that's fine. The victim didn't have any identification on him. But we figured out who he was pretty quick, and then the investigation went smoothly. Okay. When Maggie was searched, we found the lottery ticket and the bottle of poison. And that was it. There was nothing else missing from the crime scene. What about the newspaper? <laughs> that's true. I was missing. Hmm, you identified the victim and secured your prime suspect. Very good. I mean, it wasn't missing from the crime scene, it was just well, stuffed away. Well, but it was away. stuffed away, meaning evidence that could have Maybe been... Maybe Payne's like, this probably isn't important! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our Payne voice gets worse all our the pain time. Our Payne voice turns into Toad when I do it. The prosecution is ready, your honor! <laughs> Hello! Last Toad! chance... Sorry, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Last chance to convince the court you're a real lawyer, Trite. I just realized I said I'm a gun, but anyway. <laughs> Don't count on any more cross-examinations after this one. So let the fun begin. Well. Oh, is that a wedding ring I see on his thing? On his finger? Who? Godot. Godot? Godot. No, no woman would put up with him. <laughs> Spends way too much money on He coffee. married a barista. <laughs> yeah, that would be. It's like, oh, hey, wait, no, 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 wait. The ring was on his index finger. Uh, or no, people, pointer finger. Some people pointer are finger. weird and wear it on their pointer finger. Not their ring finger? Some people are weird. I always thought, like, that's how you knew if it's, like, a wedding ring or not. It's on their ring finger. No, Otherwise, there, it could be any old girls, ring. There are girls who wear, like, purity rings on their ring finger. That's incredibly confusing. No, no wonder they don't get dates. Because yeah. <laughs> every guy I thinks, oh, I they're probably married. I'm not going to be creepy. And... Like, I, I understand if you're like... Also, yeah, purity rings, that's weird. <laughs> I, I don't really understand them because it's like you're already probably if you're already in that religion you're probably gonna already try and remain pure anyway so why do you need a ring and then why do you need a ring for people to be like oh is she engaged is she oh, oh no purity ring purity I recognize ring. that at a glance oh, yeah, it's, it's white an emerald. <laughs> it's not white wow <laughs> it's a white ring but it's not a diamond well white ring. for like wedding dress white for <laughs> white for wedding dress. No, like, wedding dresses are white because they symbolize, like, purity or something. Like, Not all it, wedding dresses are white. Back in the day they were, yeah. because it was it was much bigger back in the day that they got someone who was pure and a virgin. Okay. Which I actually, I, I, I'm not sure if this is the whole reason, but I think part of the reason for that is that was the only way people could guarantee they wouldn't get STDs. Really? Well, yeah, because they didn't have, like, protection okay. back then. Yeah, I guess control. that would make sense. I, but huh. that was kind of like an, oh, I guess that makes more sense. But it's still kind of weird. It's still kind of weird. Actually, no, it's very weird. Anyway. Uh, anyways, our, speaking uh, of creepy old men. That's, uh, <laughs> this is T for teen for kids. Hey, I told, I T always. T for teen for kids. <laughs> and we have our video I'm title. I to say, not for kids, but T for teen for kids. <laughs> Scary old man, Detective Gumshoe. There's an old man who's a regular at the restaurant where the incident happened. Ah, we're obviously talking about the same old man. The guy who's like, the... 
Wait. Officers were dispatched right after the report came in, but the old guy still made a fuss. What took you so long? Then he hurled abuse at them and seeds. Hmm, seeds. But not just any seed. Oh bird no, seed. this was bird seed. <laughs> ha, it was nothing. I caught each one with my teeth. It's just like eating sunflower seeds. <laughs> I guess not even the mighty Godot can avoid being attacked by that guy. It's like you want guy. some birdie. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> and like just opens. <laughs> <laughs> the old man was the only other customer in the place at the time. Yeah, because it sucks. He took his time finding a payphone apparently, so he was late reporting the crime. He would, he would be the person that doesn't have a phone on And then be like, the police were late! It was their fault! <laughs> <laughs> yup, that would be him. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been real tough for Maggie. Aww. So how long was the defendant unconscious for? Three. The, the officers got to the crime scene at about 2.40. Maggie was still out cold in the kitchen at that time. You know, because it's a video game. It took another ten minutes or so before she came to. I kind of liked to have been on the scene myself. I bet you would have liked to have carried out the search, too. I would have loved to see Maggie asleep like that. All pretty and peaceful. Meanwhile- You're a professional <laughs> detective, Gumshoe, not a professional bird watcher. Meanwhile, Maggie's I love just the pun. Sitting, Maggie's just sitting in the chair like, Ugh. I am not into this guy. I'm not into this guy. <laughs> I love the pun for professional bird, bird watcher. Watchers. Save the romantics for your own time, detective. Oh, Godot seems to be shipping them, though. He's like, yeah. hey, now. Hey, now. Let's go back to this later. <laughs> All we need to know is about the investigation. I don't know, maybe. Oops, uh, I guess I'm pretty red right now, aren't I? No. You're pale. You're pale. <laughs> Sprite limitations. He didn't have any ID on him. Versus the people who are, like, constantly red. He didn't have any? Are you saying it was stolen, then? No, I don't think so. The victim didn't have a driver's license or even a credit card on him. Um, oh. you are a programmer. You don't have a credit card? I don't have a credit card and I'm a programmer. Okay, but you have like I a have a card. debit card. Yeah, you have like a card of some kind. You drive. A library card. <laughs> 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 yeah. Having fun isn't hard no, now. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If you had any form of identification, library card. Blockbuster ID. Blockbuster ID. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you see that I video, too? Yeah. Of the guy with the spam? Yes. Yep. That is amazing. <laughs> Have you seen both? Yeah. Have you seen the one with the duckies? Yes. <laughs> we need to talk about the ducks. <laughs> okay, sorry. Funny. He's great. All he had was 58 cents in his wallet. 58 cents? Yeah, I can't believe I found someone with less in their wallet than me, pal. I can't believe you had that the much. The victim sounds like he was a furrowy, miserable young man. Or some kind of outlaw. Why well, not give him a bit of an edge? I think I'm onto something here. We figured out who he was pretty quick. Who was he? How'd you figure it out? Was it because of his blockbuster ID? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a sec! Huh? Did I say something dumb again? Let me paraphrase what you just testified to this court. The victim didn't have any form of ID on him. That's basically what you said, yes? Yeah, basically. In that case, how were you able to identify the victim so quickly? Oh, that. He's so let down, he's got the whole sagging shoulders and puppy eyes thing going. Uh, there was a prescription bag on the victim's table along with the lottery ticket. Um, this changes everything! What if, like, he got the wrong medication and they're like, Did you want some potassium cyanide? <laughs> It that would be the screw up of this would the be lifetime. The screw up of the lifetime, but this is what I'm saying. Like this stuff happens. I can't believe this didn't come up till now. It seems Mr. Glenelg visited his doctor before Maybe he went he to the trial. Maybe he like happy pills, and he accidentally <laughs> got the wrong thing. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for referencing happy pills. <laughs> <laughs> We got the victim's name from the medical records of the doc who prescribed the meds. That was mm, quick. That's well, a reliable enough source like, for the court. Oh, well, I guess we found a dead body. Let me, uh, crack open my flip phone. Who ordered happy who pills? Who ordered happy pills from you? Oh, like, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Too <laughs> tall in his game? <laughs> is that from that? That's from the Bernstein Bears No Drug... I'm not even sure if it is. <laughs> Just one of the Amazon reviews. It's like, oh yeah, this one is great. Too tall in his game. Take happy pills. <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what should I ask? Leave it, ask about the prescription bag, out, ask about um, his health insurance. His health insurance doesn't matter, so ask about the prescription bag. Yeah, that is what we need to do. I guess it doesn't it's really matter insurance. how they figured out who the victim was. There are more important avenues to explore. <laughs> well. So the victim had no form of identification on him, correct? Yeah. 
And yet, before arriving at the restaurant, he went to see a doctor. Which means, he must have had his medical insurance card with him. Oh, that's very true. The fact that it hasn't been found points to only one obvious conclusion. The victim's medical card was stolen. Um, they're like, Maggie Bird took that too! <laughs> ha. True, the victim didn't have a medical insurance card. But why? Because Mr. Glen Elk didn't have medical insurance to begin with. Huh? Hmm. As I thought, a thoroughly miserable young man. Or some kind of outlaw. Uh, a bit of an edge never hurt anyone. Looks like we're off course again, Nick. How expensive would that visit have been without health insurance? It, it depends on where you live. Really. Like, I know in the Americas it's like... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, um... $500. But, like... That's a sometimes. really low amount. <laughs> it depends on the time. But there are other times where, like... Even if think, it's like an ear I think infection. in like Korea, if you go to like a hospital and you need to get like an MRI or something, I do remember someone being like, it was like 200 bucks. Just pay out of cash out of pocket? Yeah, wow. cash out of pocket, like something like that. This which... is where I do, I do admire your, most of the European countries for having universal health care. Yeah. Kind of wish we had it in America, but also then it's like, oh, well, taxes are like 50% now. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Witness, please continue for testimony. Explain for the court the events following the preliminary investigation. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh. Oh. Let's go back. Yeah. So what sort of medicine was in the bag? Happy pills. <laughs> well, actually, the bag we found was empty. So... Huh? He took stuff. He took his happy pills. <laughs> yeah, completely empty. In reality, he actually didn't win the lottery. He's just like, yeah, won the lottery! <laughs> Except he had the ticket. <laughs> that would be amazing, though. <laughs> the happy pills are just like, yeah, won the <laughs> Like, in reality, th this isn't the winning ticket at all. Just like people it's just like, if they said a lottery ticket was the winner. I have a lottery ticket! <laughs> <laughs> Too many happy pills for that guy. It, it was completely empty? Victim's prescription bag added to the court record. Ha. <laughs> You're entering an empty paper bag as evidence. Desperate, are you, Trite? It could be! Now, what happened with the investigation after that, Detective? Maggie was searched, we found the lottery ticket and the bottle of poison. So, remind me. Everything. So, he, ha he has his prescription bag. He has his newspaper with MC Bomber written on it. And the other dude was like, B -b 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 -b. I don't even know what they were talking about. Like, with him. The other guy was with him at some point. Mm -hmm. According to Maggie. According to Maggie. Okay. According to Maggie, I'm he also had the CD on the table. But CD nobody was else, on the table. But nobody else he saw He was probably it. trying to make a deal. And then, at the same time, listen to the lottery so he could try and figure out if he was winning. Hmm. And then he has this prescription. So I'm trying to figure out... Oh, we're probably getting to the part where you're like, this is probably what happened. Okay. But the defendant had been passed out for a while, correct? In that case, isn't it possible someone planted the evidence in Maggie's pocket? Hey! Yeah! You've nailed it, pal! Hmm... It happens to me all the time. Um, we had a department party the other day, and when I got home, I was wearing the boss's shoes! Um, that doesn't happen. Keep up the crazy testimony, detective, and those shoes will end up down your throat. Sorry. So trite, someone planted the evidence in Maggie's pocket. That's a pretty bold statement. Care to back it up with some evidence? Sure. Um, well, I'd love to if I had any. It appears you have no evidence to support your theory, Mr. Wright. Continue no. with your testimony, witness. Oh. And there was nothing it. else missing from the crime scene. So the half a million dollar lottery ticket and the bottle of poison were accounted for. Yeah. Interesting. It's true that those two items are accounted for. But wasn't there another lottery ticket that was stolen that day? Oh yeah, the one the restaurant owner took. He won a whole dollar with it. What a lucky guy, huh? Yeah, you could buy like four things of ramen. You could use it to buy seven sixteenths of a oh, CD. A CD? <laughs> I forgot. This. Way less than that. A one like one sixteenth of a CD. This day and age, yeah. And they're just going to let him get away with it? You could buy an iTunes song. It was just one dollar, detective. I guess no one cares when it's that little. Unless it's Gumshoe. If I don't find a hole in this testimony, the judge is going to hand down his verdict. Gumshoe isn't giving us anything to work with. And we can't find any contradictions if he doesn't give us something! Yeah, that's true. But Maggie and Gumshoe are both are like dumb and dumber. Yeah. Our only hope is that they that's were so they're... dumb they missed something obvious. 
Come on, Gumshoe! Be the dumbest you've ever been! I like the... Keep in mind, they weren't talking quietly in the blue text. They were saying all this right out loud. <laughs> Mr. Right, <laughs> what the heck are you doing? <laughs> It'd be great. Okay, okay so that's Probably, everything. I don't know what statement we were going to... Okay, let's but, start... Okay. Nope. Reported by an old man. He passed out that's from the fine. shock. He didn't have any ID on him. That's fine. We figured it out pretty quick, and yep. the investigation went smoothly. We found the lottery in the bottle yep, poison. that's fine. And that's it. There's okay, so it else. must be that one. Um... I would almost put down the newspaper since nobody found that till we did. Yeah, that's true. Let's try that. Right, nah. Aww. Wait, what? That was actually good though. That's actually like I thought that would nobody, might work. Nobody could find. Okay. Well, um. Otherwise, the apron was gone. No, it wasn't. Okay, well, we didn't know about it till now. Yeah, that's because um, it was, was the, the classic coffee... prosecution hides it until it was the worst possible time. The time. <laughs> uh, the, the coffee cup. That was there. That was there? Okay. <laughs> um, what else is there on here? Oh, the prescription bag? Just that? Bag is empty. Bag is empty, but nobody put that in as evidence. That was there. Right. We didn't, we didn't hear a lick about that until recently, so I say go for it. Detective Gumshoe, I think I should point something out to you. There's just one small contradiction in your testimony. Oh, finally! Finally! I'm getting all anxious just waiting, so hurry up, will you? What the heck? You testified that nothing else was missing from the crime scene. However, the prescription- Perjury does not exist! The prescription bag you mentioned was empty. Did the officers recover the medicine from the scene of the crime later? Um, no, they didn't. The victim was given a prescription bag right before going to Trabian. Where, then, did the medicine disappear to? Y you are too cool, pal! I thought he was going to say, all right! Indeed. Due consideration wasn't given to the victim's prescription in the previous trial. Witness, why do you always overlook such vital pieces of evidence? I, uh, I guess that's the most careless feat I've done so far, huh? The victim was killed by poison! And the victim's medicine mysteriously disappeared? The victim's own prescription could have been the lethal poison That's itself. That's what I said. As soon as they said prescription, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, order, order. Well, Mr. Godot, what do you have to say to that? Ha. That's all. What? Read for the court the name of the clinic on the prescription bag, if oh, you will. Oh no. It better not be Dr. Hottie. <laughs> What's the clinic's name got to do with anything? New ear otolaryngological auto clinic. Otolaryngological? <laughs> Just what kind of illness was the victim suffering from, Mental Mr. Illness? Godot? Hardly an illness, Your Honor. More like a bitter war wound, you could say. A, a war wound? The day before the incident, Mr. Elk found himself in a fight. Okay. He took a blow to the side of the head Hence and why. ruptured his eardrum. Hence why. Um, he was listening to the radio. How does that work? He only ruptured one eardrum. <laughs> I won the lottery. Whoa. He ruptured his eardrum. Then what on earth was the prescription he was given? It was a cream that was to be applied topically inside his ear canal, not to be ingested. Still what? Still, he was listening to the radio. That means he would have ear cream on his ear, and thus he can't use the earpiece because the earpiece has to go in. Or he ear. used it in his other ear. <laughs> Maybe he ruptured both ears. That's not what they said. Maybe it was in the wrong. Maybe they'll be like, it was in his left ear, and then we'll look at the picture and be like, oh. The maybe. It's mentioned in the autopsy report if you read the fine print. They found traces of the medication in the victim's left ear. Yes, here it is, in very, very he fine used print. All of the medication. Like a whole big glob of cream. <laughs> that was supposed to last you a month! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like in his ear. Are you telling me that? That's, unless if it's like trial period, let's try out this medication thing. We'll give you two days worth. But still, <laughs> like two days worth of medicine shoved up your eardrum? That doesn't seem like it worked. It seems Mr. L correctly applied some of his medication while he was at Trabian. Why would you do that at a restaurant? Oh, hi, welcome to Trabian. What would you like to order? <laughs> well, I would like a uh, ketchup, hot dog, and uh, are you okay, sir? No, I'm fine. Just put my medication on. 
<laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Meanwhile, so Victor Kudo is just drinking his coffee like, this is interesting. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Therefore, it would be absurd to believe he would have eaten his medication. Ugh. Not as absurd as Phoenix Wright eating necklace with poison in it, so... It seems that possible. the medication is irrelevant to the case after all. No, it's not! No! Nick! If you don't think of something quick, it'll all be over. She's right. But I can't get away with any old weak objection. What should I do? Push the medication issue, if leave we, it. If we leave it, then the, the thing's over! Yeah, so let's leave it. <laughs> Uh, it does seem as if the medication isn't connected to the case. <sighs> ha! Uh. Maybe the last Mr. Trite was the real one. At least he didn't waste time. Indeed. If you have nothing further to add to this medication issue, the facts of this case seem no different to those presented in the last trial. I would therefore have no choice but to hand down my verdict. Uh, um... Nick! Don't let him do this! You've got to stand your ground! Now then... Wait, Your Honor. Actually, this prescription is absolutely pivotal to the case. Mr. Wright, did you not just say the exact opposite only moments ago? <laughs> Gotta lose a few battles in order to win the war, I suppose. <laughs> wow. <laughs> only moments ago, Mr. Godot made the following statement. It seems Mr. L correctly applied some of his medication while he was at Tra Beyond. If that's the case, then why was the medication not found at the scene of the crime? But the medication in question was for topical use inside the ear canal. That doesn't change the fact that it would not- it could not be found at the crime scene. However insignificant it may seem, it's a lawyer's duty to pursue the truth. Godot's like stupid. You know as well as I do that the medication is irrelevant. It hardly seems likely that a prescription drug would contain potassium cyanide. It hardly seems likely that the coffee the waitress served could contain it either. But it did! The possibility is undeniable. Ugh. That's enough. Mr. Godot, is the detective the only witness the prosecution wishes to call? Yes! Mr. Godot? Um, I, uh, I've got my own witness I'd like to call, sir. It's the old man who was there in the restaurant on the right. day of the murder. That guy. Victor Kudo? The pigeon hater? Is he gonna throw <laughs> seeds at people? <laughs> Very well. The matter of the disappearing medication seems a little more than trivial at best. However, it wasn't explored at all in the previous trial. And that is something that bothers me. Yay! Good job, Nick! The court will adjourn for a ten minute recess. After which, we will hear the prosecution's next witness. Huzzah. Huh. I suppose this means I'll just have to finish you off in my last six cups. I just realized- He drank eleven cups?! I just realized, <laughs> this guy's bladder must be bursting like, FINALLY WE HAVE A TEN MINUTE RECESS! That's why Either we never- that just a robot. That's why we never see him- I mean, that was my other- Yeah, see? Rain on his, uh, pointer finger. Oh. Well, maybe that's like... I don't know. This shows my love, one true love. It'd be funnier. For coffee. It would be funnier if it was on like his middle finger. So like, if he got <laughs> mad at people, he could like flip them off with silver. Court is adjourned for recess. <laughs> <laughs> it's like shut up. <laughs> Nobody needs to hear about his ring. Okay, I can't remember if it's to be continued at the end of this. So let's just go through this, and if it okay. brings back to trial, we'll stop. January seventh, eleven oh three. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Phew, that was close. Tell me about it. I nearly died in there. That's my line, sir! No, it's my line! I think I really did die a little bit. Looks like we all nearly died in there. I can't believe Detective Gumshoe! How could he betray us like that? Huh? He said he'd help me. But he totally set me up! I, I don't think he meant to do that, Maggie. He was backed into a corner. I mean, the guy's gotta do his job, right? It's okay. I know all about lies and betrayal. I've had them my whole life. But it really hurts this time. It feels like somebody punched me hard in the stomach. I hate that guy! I don't ever want to see him again! Poor Gumshoe. Gumshoe's gonna walk out. So, the next witness is going to be that old guy from the park, right? Yeah, Mr. Kudo. Lover of waitress outfits and projectile seeds. I bet he's going to be really stubborn. I mean, he's pretty set in his ways, you know? Yeah, he's a big old grouch. Are you going to be able to handle him, Nick? Yeah, I can take whatever he throws at me. Even those never-ending bird seeds. 
Wow. No to be continued in this trial at all. Apparently. Wow. Oh, wait. No, that makes sense. Unless it's like Rise from the Ashes. Anyhow. Wait. What do you mean I can't save and quit here? Just like, <laughs> what the heck? just open court and we'll quit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll do. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Maggie Bird. No, it won't. It'll do that <laughs> next time. Thanks Phoenix for watching. Right is the Time Lord is like, whoosh. <laughs> whoosh. Oh, this could actually be split into two episodes, I think. Oh. Because that went longer than expected. Okay. We're almost at an hour in terms of footage. Oh. I like to keep them around a half hour, we if keep, possible. Yeah, we could split this into two. All right. That's what I'm going to do. So sorry for the abrupt ending for our last video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Artie. And I'm Artie. Sorry, I should have warned you. I was going to do that. I was like, uh, to me uh, next time, <laughs> we're going to be cross-examining the pigeon feed. And the, the, precious, <laughs> the pigeon, the pigeon feed. feed and, oh, yeah, and the old man who comes with them. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. This is going to be like the last court case where it's like, oh, um, Acro comes in with his birds. That wasn't the last Not court case. Not the last case. court case, but I'm saying it's going to be like that where, like, he comes in with pigeons and he's like, bruh, 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 and throws them. Yeah, it's going to be just like Acro chucking his, uh, his hummingbirds at us. I remember <laughs> that part. <laughs> oh, yeah.